His Excellency Mr. Babajide Sonlu, Executive Governor of Lagos State, the President Lagos State Grassroots Soccer Association, Gentlemen of the Press, Staff of the of PPSL and Ubon King Foundation, and volunteers of the foundation as well, ladies and gentlemen. It is my delight to welcome you to this press conference of the second edition of the Boys and Girls Ubon King Memorial Cup 2022. And um, I think it's an interesting coincidence because the World Cup starts on Sunday. That's right. And this tournament is happening in this season. So for me, it's an indicator that there's great things to come. So maybe this is a sign that somebody from this tournament will make it to that World Cup. Amen. Yeah. So the tournament is, is dear to our hearts for a lot of reasons, obvious reasons. First, it is our way of contributing to the society and we are believers in positively impacting the society we run our business in we believe in being responsible corporately to the society we operate in as a business in whatever we can and also this is a competition that was very dear to the heart of our founder and chairman dr ubon king i don't refer to him as late because even while he's not here, he's still making an impact. Yes. The life, his legacy is still yeah, moving cool. strong yeah. and a lot of people are still blessed by all the content that he left behind. So we do not refer to him as late. We do not have to make billions of naira for us to make that difference in the society. We believe that in our own little way, we should also contribute you know, to making the next person's life better. You know, sometimes we think that we have to save the entire world ourselves. We cannot save the entire world by ourselves. But we can do it starting in our own corners in the little ways that we can. And this is our own contribution in our own neck of the woods. We do not have... Business may be tough, but when we make the effort at sponsoring this tournament, is our way of giving God thanks in a tangible way beyond words. So we push beyond comfort zone to ensure that this tournament happens. Secondly, the tournament offers the young ones a platform to showcase their God-given talent. It gives them a hope as good pictures, positive pictures are fed into their minds about the future. Because if you're defeated in your mind, then you're defeated totally. But if these young people have hope, you know, they have a mental picture of great, a greater tomorrow. If this is happening through this tournament, then I believe that we've done our own part. And these are some of the things that we want to achieve with this tournament. Thus, we want to inspire them to place more fo focus on what their talents could give to them. Idleness no longer holds any appeal. As such, they cannot become tools for the devil's workshop. So in whatever ways they can put their minds to creative uses and we are part of ensuring that happens, we'll continue to push. Thirdly, it is in honor of our late chairman and icon, Mr. Ubon King, who we grew up <coughs> from, he started from way down, he started from, from down there, and um, he's somebody that has an em had an empathy for other people who have been beaten by life, who have been have found life really tough. His story is an inspiration in itself. I'm sure some of us, or maybe most of us, or all of us, are aware of the Obon King story. And in case you're not, mm -hmm. I invite you to go to YouTube, YouTube, the YouTube channel Obon King Foundation on YouTube, and his story is out there. For everybody to learn from is somebody that has a, a life story that is worth listening to so that story is one that has given a lot of people they push and they drive to not give up on life there are so many people as a result of the Ubon King story people that were almost giving up that have decided that look if Ubon King will start from the floor up, that there's also hope for them as well so we hope that the young ones will be inspired by his person 
to aim at the very highest pinnacle of the award, it is possible. Ubon King did it, and so can they. Like, um, there's a popular saying that when you see something good happen to your neighbor, you know that God is in your neighborhood. Right. So if Ubon King could rise to the heights that he did, then it is also a possibility for anybody, anybody who aspires. I must thank the Lagos State Grassroots so Soccer Association for the thankless job they are doing. They have been our partners for the past four years and it has been delightsome working with them to make history. They make a difficult job seem <coughs> very easy. From the indication of interest by the teams to the registration. Yes. So I must thank the Lagos State Grassroots Soccer Association for the thankless job they are doing. They've been our partners for the last four years <coughs> and it's been very delightsome working with them. They make a difficult job seem very easy. From the indication of interest by all the teams that have signed up for this tournament to the registration, to the preliminary matches, all the way to the finals, they, under they undertake professionalism in every of the process to the success of the tournament. I gladly express my gratitude to the president and every single member of the association. Thank you, Thank you for all you do. The grand finale of the tournament will hold on the 26th of <coughs> December 2022, which is a very significant day for us because it was on this day that our chairman exited this world. So because he lived a life that was quite inspiring and he, he, his life was loud, loud in the sense that Ubon King would not come into an environment and you fail to notice him. He always made an impact. Yes. And like we say in my house, that he also exited in such a way that even if you try, you cannot forget him. He exited loudly as well. So this date is really significant for us, both at the foundation and also for my family as well. So that is when the grand finale would hold, 26th of December, 2022. And the cash prizes for the teams will be given to them that same day. The prizes for the winners for the male category are as follows. First prize is 250000 Second prize is 200000 And third prize is 150000 Fourth prize is 100000 Last Last year, we had female particip participation for the first time in the tournament. We are happy to announce its continuation and we will be increasing the scope a little more. And that is why we call out to members of the public who would want to be a part of this to join us in ensuring that we make this a reality. So for, for the female category, we have for the first prize, a hundred and fifty thousand and then for the second prize we have a hundred thousand we hope that this will go a long way in sustaining the interests of the teams in their good work thank you all for your presence we appreciate you